time position velocity now we we are given a description and we need to draw a time position graph okay now here create a time position graph for an object where the starting position of 100 meters and velocity of minus 20 meters per second it means that the object is going to start 100 meters away from origin and as the time goes by object approaches that means the distance decreases by 20 meters every second right so that is how we need to understand this question right so 100 meters is the starting position and for every second distance decreases by 20 meters correct so in our time position graph we will take time along the horizontal axis and the units for time will be seconds right since the velocity is given in meters per second right so meters becomes the unit for distance and for time it is seconds and distance will be in meters right velocity is ratio of distance over time distance is in meters and time is in seconds so that unit is kind of very important to understand right and that gives you the unit for your graph now to draw a good graph we should have units in multiples of 20 right so it is minus 20 every second right so this should be in multiples of 20 now if we have this is 20 then we have 20 40 60 80 100 so we can make 100 right if we take uh, each is 10, then we get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 is beyond, right? So we cannot take every unit as 10, right? So if you take 15, then making 20 will be like a big approximation. It's not that big approximation, we can do it, but still. So we'll avoid that and we'll treat every unit as 20 meters, right? So it is 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that is our 100, right? So we'll write, we can write 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, right? Now, as given, create a time position graph for an object with starting position of 100 meters. So that is the D intercept, starting position at 100 meters. And velocity is minus 20 meters per second so every second so let's take horizontal axis as in seconds we can take this as we can take two units as one second also like one second two second three second four second kind of five second I kind of stretched it a bit okay but that's not bad so let's take this as seconds right so every second the object is coming closer by 20 meters. That is what is meant by velocity, right? Change in distance per time. So per time, per second, changes distance minus 20. So in one second, the distance decreases by 20. That means it comes from 100 to 80, right? So that becomes a position after one second. Then again, 20 more, right? Then again, 20 more, kind of like this, right? So we can join these points and draw a line. So ultimately, we know in five seconds, the object will be at zero distance away, right? So we can just join them and get our graph. So this graph will be like this. Correct? So that is how we are going to sketch this graph. So, so we could have taken time as here. In that case, it will fit in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this area. Correct? It looks kind of better if we kind of stretch it, right? So that is our time position graph for an object. So we can write this as distance time or time position graph. Right? Where D intercept for us is 100. And the T intercept is at 5, correct? After 5 seconds, the distance will be 0, okay? 
that is how we are going to the sketch this graph. I hope you understand how we took the scale and why we have drawn a line which is decreasing, coming downwards, right, as we move. Since the velocity is negative, the distance is decreasing. The object is approaching, correct? So that is the concept you need to remember. Thank you.